Hi, this is Mike Seeley, your loan genie, from Demystifying the Loan Process, here with this week's Mortgage Moment. Well, this week we're going to step back a little bit and talk about how many loans are there. So I'm going to surprise you here. There is only one loan. What, you say? <laughs> You're going crazy, Mike. Well, let me explain. Now, remember, some of you out in the crowd have 401ks or retirement plans, annuities. Those are all investments, and each of those investments might contain some mortgage-backed securities. You are investors into the mortgages of many of the people that are listening. Now, what does an investor look for when he's investing, whether it's a mortgage, it's a bond, it's a stock, it's an annuity? He's looking for a rate or yield. Now, what does that mean by yield versus rate? Well, a rate is a rate of return. Let's say that going rate is 7%. A 7% rate is over a given period of time. Yield. Let's say it's a 30-year fixed mortgage. That 7% rate will go all the way out there for 30 years. That's his yield, 7% over 30 years. Hey, wait a minute, Mike. I have a 6% interest rate for five years that then goes adjustable. How does he get his 7% yield there? Well, that's a great question. And that's based on the other factor of an investment. That's risk. You both have risk in this type of loan. The investor wants 7%. He knows he can get that for 30 years. But he might be willing to go 6% for the first five years, knowing that it's going adjustable after that period. So what? The loan could go down. But what do adjustable rates generally do? They generally creep up and generally pass the standard rates and then sort of stay out here. So it may end up at it somewhere around 8%. But the total blended true return for him, or yield, as we said before, is still, that's right, 7% overall over the 30 years, getting only 6 in the first few years, getting 8 later. And maybe it even goes up to 8% or 9%. The same risk on your side. You're hoping that it goes down, but at least you got a good fixed rate up front. Now, a quick strategy point you should see here. How long are you going to keep your loan? Because you can beat the investor if you know you're going to keep that loan, not necessarily the house, but that loan, only two, three, four, five years, or maybe even six years, because it can only go up so much based on the cap rates we talked about. Well, wait a minute again, you say. What about those start rates or buy downs? We can buy it down to, say, 5%. Yes, that is a 5 but at 5% buy-down, what do you have to do to get that? That's right. You have to pay what we commonly call points or a premium for that. So, in essence, the investor is actually getting his money up front. You're paying for that privilege to get a 5% start rate or even lower. So, again, it may start at 5 and it may even be fixed all the way. But if it goes fixed all the way for 5, you probably paid a lot of points to get that. Or if you got five for just, say, a few years, and then it'll again percolate up, generally, and something like that. Again, giving a true yield for the investor of somewhere around 7%. And actually, in this case, the investor got his money up front, and you took the burden of risk. So again, there's a lot of strategies we're going to be teaching over the coming weeks and months about how to get the loan that's best for you. And this is something we show in demystifying the loan process. Again, this should spur on a lot of questions. There's more to talk about this. So if you have questions, go to askyourloanquestion.com and come visit us at yourloangenie.com for Demystifying the Loan Process, the DVD series designed to help you save thousands of dollars now and throughout the future. Mike Seeley again. Thank you for watching.